Light stage to three, let's go. Trickstar deck profile coming up. All right, guys, this is my Trickstar deck profile um, that I've been testing. It's uh, quite good. I'm going to get some Dual Flit Smart Locals along with Sword Soul. Um, so let's get into the profile of what I'm playing and the reasons why. I'm playing three Candina. Um, this card searches any trick style card in the archetype, and if your opponent activates a spell trap card, they take 200 damage. So that's pretty good. Uh, three Lycoris. You can target a trick star on the field and return it to hand as a cost, and then. Um, special summon it. So if you have, for example, if we play, do this. Uh, so if you have two of these in hand, uh, you can target the Candina, bounce it back, and then go. So effect, target. So the target's cost effect, target. This bounces back, and then these two get summoned. Um, so if you have three, you can do three. So. It's, it's really good for that, bouncing back the uh, Trick Star cards also. Every time a card's added to hand, your opponent takes 200 damage, so it's really good. I play two Corbain. You can play one, but I do find that two is quite good in like a pure version. Um, also, if you control the monsters um, or your monster Trick Stars, you can summon this, so that's pretty good. Um, one Lily Bell to get back your Trick Stars from Grave. Um, if it's added to hand, you can special summon it, it's pretty good. Uh, for three Light Stage, finally it's back at three. And uh, Terraforming, and um, search the Light Stage, uh, you get to add a Trick Star monster. It's not once per turn, and also it can uh, lock down a back row when well, it's in the field spell zone, so it's pretty good. And then three of the Trick Star Incarnation. You, everyone knows the Trickstar Incarnation draw combo. That's pretty pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, deck's quite cool. Um, for the consistency cards, I'm playing Free Prosperity. Um, you don't really care about your extra deck that much. You use it for like link climbing and other stuff. Um, so yeah, digging six cards deeper to find your. Trick Star Light Stage, your Candina is really good, or any mist, like any hand trap or something like that. So it's pretty good. Uh, for board breakers, I'm playing is three Super Poly with tear running around and stuff like that. You need to play some kind of board breaker, and Super Poly is like really, really good. They can't respond to it, which is just like insane. Um, so yeah, and you can put like stuff in the grave. So yeah, it's pretty good. Hand traps, three Nibiru. This is either this or D Shifter. Um, I'm going for more generic um, hand trap ratio, so it'll be Nibiru. You can play D Shifter, so if you want to replace it, replace this D Shifter. Uh, three Ash, um, generically good. Um, might not be this good this format, but it's good against like road decks and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Drone Lockbird. Why this deck's insane um, is the Droll Reincarnation combo. I have seen Droll start to come back in the format, so if you hit them with like a Droll Reincarnation, it can be over in some scenarios. Three Effect Veiler, um, again, generic hand trap. Three DD Crow, uh, again, good against tier elements. Um, and just like Scythe, if it's still around in the format and stuff like that. And Imperm, again, good generically. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you could play cards like Ghost Spell if you really want, uh, Ghost Ogre, Called by the Grave, um, Rivalry Goes in if you want to change up the build. So, yeah, there's some suggestions. Um, I haven't got a side deck for this, but I should probably start doing side decks in my profile. But uh, anyway, a fresh deck, one liner, uh, you'll, all your monsters are light, um, and you can reborn like. Um, Failures to make Selene, Nibiru, 
if they've got random light stuff in the grave, and if you crash, you can search. Um, uh, I believe you can search Candina. Yeah, you can search Candina. So yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, along with that, with Dark Charmer, uh, Reborn Sprite. Uh, you can make it with stuff like Crow. Um, and like some of the fusions in the extra deck for Super Poly. Um, one Cerberus for removing problematic monsters. One Phoenix. One Mascarina. One Holy Angel. You could play two. I'm just playing one at the moment. Uh, still testing. Um, level threes. One Nightmare Unicorn. Um, one Decode. This is in there for memes. Uh, you could play something else like Appaloosa. I just couldn't find my Appaloosa, so if you want to replace it, replace this with Appaloosa. Or replace it with another Holly Angel. Um, it's just completely up to you. Uh, one Celine because you can make it with the two Charmers, and then make access codes because you're playing Vela in the deck. Um, to reborn Vela, so yeah, that's really good. Or well, Droll, reborn Droll. Uh, one access code to, you know, possibly win games. Uh, one Underworld Goddess out like Ultimate Falcon. The Ignista, Link 6, and just problematic monsters that you know can't be destroyed by battle of, uh, by card effect, sorry. Uh, one King of the Swamp, one Garuda, Garuda, sorry, Garuda, one Dystopia, and one Starving Venom, uh, my super poly targets. Um, you could play the Pendulum Fusion, the, new, the one out of uh, Dimension, is it? Uh, the one before Power of the Elements set, uh, if Draco Slayer has become popular. Um, but yeah, uh, that's my trick side deck profile. Um, this deck's a lot of fun. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And cheers for all the support. And this week will be part three of the budget series, where I go to Locals RL with the deck for the first time, and hopefully we can top. Um, there will be a few challenges, but I'll explain that in the video so yeah thanks guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to like share and subscribe cheers guys